what what do you think about coming to a team that so obviously needs pass rushers? I mean, do you just look and see opportunity with this depth chart? I definitely see opportunities. Uh, you know, every team needs uh, an edge rusher or a DN that can get after the quarterback, and I feel like I'm that guy. I'm very blessed. Was Atlanta a team that you thought might might call after whatever meetings you had with them or interactions? Uh, definitely. Just uh, when I took my top 30 visit, you know, I visit uh, the facility. It was great. You know, great coaches, uh, great players. And I just see myself running the colors, black, red, and white. Thank you, Daniel. Nice to meet you. Yes. Michael Rothstein. Hey, D'Angelo, congratulations. Uh, I'm curious, what did you learn from Mo Crum? You said what? What did you learn from Mo Crum? Mel Crum? From Coach Crum, yeah. Oh, Coach Crum. Yeah, that's my guy. So basically, you know, just every time you step out on the field, uh, just have a dignity need about yourself, uh, give it your all, you know, no matter if that's on and off the field, you know, just always just go about things a certain way and uh, just always give it your all. So, I mean, when you look at your production throughout your career at Western Kentucky, was there a point where you started to realize that that was going to come more consistently? Like, how did that happen? Yeah, so basically, I, I, I would say, you know, just uh, pushing yourself and, you know, just try to get better every day. And uh, I always try to emphasize on that a lot. Uh, you know, just running to the ball, the small things like that, that running to the ball, finishing at the quarterback, and, uh, you know, just always rallying around the ball. And I've always been the type of guy where, you know, I try to live what I preach, you know, practice how I preach. And uh, every time I go on the field, you know, I just tip my shoulder and I just try to be the best player I can be. We appreciate it. Congratulations, D'Angelo. Thanks so much. Kelly Price. Hey, I'm not sure if my connection is good, and I just hopped on here. Um, so I was just wondering, uh, the moment that you got drafted to your hometown team, what was that like? Oh, uh, man, it was a blessing. I'm very honored. Uh, you know, just being from Atlanta, you know, a lot of people, like your family, so much support. And, uh, you know, I have a diehard family that's really to, I mean, just that's, that's excited to come to the games. And, uh, you know, we just decided to rise up, baby. And then I was curious if you had any like memories of Falcons games or watching the Falcons, any players maybe that you grew up watching just being from Atlanta? Yeah, I would say, you know, just not even going into the games. Uh, me and my family, we always just like tailgate outside of the Georgia Dome. Um, you know, just always had a good time. Awesome. Congrats. Thanks. Thank you so much. Joe Patrick. Thank you. Yeah, hey, D'Angelo, congratulations, man. Uh, I just have one question, which is, what do you expect to, to be the biggest challenge for you, you know, stepping up to play at the professional level, obviously, in the NFL? Uh, honestly, I probably would just say just adding on weight, you know, just adding weight to my frame and uh, just setting a harder edge. Josh, do you have any follow-ups? Just going to ask you, D'Angelo, what is your weight now and what would you like to get up to? So as of right now, I'm 242. Uh, my goal weight is 250. 250. Thank you. Thank you. Joe Patrick, you got something else? Yeah, just to follow up on that, what, what, was that something that you heard from the coaching staff that they wanted from you, or is that just something that you kind of you know planned in your own mind? Yeah, it was always something like that I uh, set myself towards. It's a goal. Um, you know, 250, I feel like I'll be able to, you know, play as hard as I can. Uh, we're saying hard to edge. And, you know, honestly, you know, the league has guys that are 6'7", 340. So, you know, just matching up to that size, I feel like 250 would be a great size for me. Michael, you got anything else? Yeah, I do. Just I want to hit a little bit more on kind of growing up and, and tailgating at the Georgia Dome. Like, did you have, like, a guy that you watched on the Falcons a ton? Was there a guy that you're like, oh, man, like, that was my freaking guy? Uh, most definitely. I would say Michael Vick. You know, Michael Vick in his prime, man, that guy was, he was a legend. And, you know, everybody loved Michael Vick. Everybody had a Michael Vick jersey. Did you, how many Michael Vick jerseys did you have? Uh, I had two. Two? <laughs> a black one and a red one. Cool. 